This video is for beginners. Uh, now this is off the cuff, so I had to practice it, but let me let me show you something. I ordered uh, these special frames uh, from KellyBees.com. Now I don't have no dog in this fight, but uh, they're good people, and there's there's several good bee houses. But this this frame is their style in in like Nancy style in and and so uh, let's get to it now uh, if, if you're a beginner and uh, if you've ordered just one hive that, that means you have 20 frames to put together one hive two brood chambers uh, you would have 20 frames put together if, if you make you a little jig like this uh, just one board here and and these two here they will hold the they will hold the frames they will hold the frames up so you can uh, uh, start putting them together uh, it'll take you about 10 minutes to make this jig and uh, now on these frames you, you see this slot here you can put this in backwards you want to you want to be sure, and and um, uh, you want to be sure that this groove is facing the inside of the frame and not the outside of the frame. Okay, on, on both sides, that groove must face the inside. So uh, to save video time, I'm gonna go ahead and this this jig will hold all ten of these frames. Now the end's open, and that, that doesn't hurt anything. If you want to make your little board and just tack it on the end, you could do that, but it, it's not necessary. So, uh, let's go ahead, and I'm going to demonstrate. Please glue your frames. Uh, I, put a little, I put a little glue there, there, um, on each one, and, and uh, wood glue. And um, okay, now I'm gonna get a I'm gonna get a a small nail and just kind of spread that uh, evenly in that in that uh, that end of the the bottom. This is the end bar. So spread that glue around, and I'm gonna demonstrate putting the top on there. And then I'll do all of them, and then I'll come back with the video, and I'll turn it over and show you the other. So. Uh, now, um, this is the bottom bar. You see, it has a slot on there. And again, you sure want to get that groove. I'm sorry, this groove. Uh, well, in this case, that groove. Uh, where's my nail? That groove uh, fits on top of that little. The way it's made right there. So I don't think you'll get that in, by mistake. Now, I'm going to square it. I glued it. Now, I'm using a, a staple gun. They send you nails for it. And, and, and you'll use that. So, I'm going to do... Okay. Now, I'm going to do all of them like that. And then, uh, I'll turn the video on. We'll do the top. And, and there's some points I want to show there. We have all the, the, the bottom bars attack, uh, nailed down, glued and nailed down. Now, I'm going to turn this over. All you do is just turn it over. And like I say, this, this, this jig here, uh, all, it, all it does is, is hold these frames so you don't have to put them together one at a time. Now, I, what I, I, I did... Uh, attach a little bar here on the end to help hold those a little more steady. Now don't worry about the frames being square yet. Uh, and let me show you something. When you put these bottom bars on, be sure that's flush. Don't let this bottom bar stick out, uh, protrude out past this end bar because later when you start cleaning your frame and everything, uh, you'll wish that, that was flush. So make sure that's flush. No. Now, I've got it uh, turned upside down. 
And now, I, uh, like I say, don't uh, uh, don't worry about the the frames being square right now. Uh, and uh, now I, I ordered this these particular frames to kind of critique them and and see how they work if they work good for a beginner. And uh, cause they advertise them uh, beginner frames and. So I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna glue these and staple this. This is the top bar, and uh, you you can't uh, uh, you can't really get it wrong. I don't think uh, it's kind of obvious how to it, it, it fits on there. So I'm gonna glue them, staple them down, and then and then we'll go from there. This is the end bar. This is the bottom bar. I'm gonna, now I've turned it upside. Uh, this is now. This is the top bar. Ooh. Now uh, uh, I can simply just take these frames out of that jig. Uh, now, now, now you want to uh, pay attention to it being square. Uh, you want it, you want this frame square two different ways. Uh, if I can explain. In other words, this this bar you want this this end bar perpendicular to this square to this bar. You don't want this end bar, you know, like that. Uh, believe me, a lot of people make that mistake. In in and you put them in your hive, and if if they're not square, they will propolize this end bar to your hive body, and it will give you grief forevermore. So, uh, if you have a little uh, put a square on it this way. That's 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 square. Now there's another way you, you want it uh, square. I reckon that's how you see it. Look down, look down on the top, and be sure that that it, it if if it looks straight, then you're okay. And uh, to illustrate this, you don't want this this front this end bar over here going that way, and this end bar going this way. In other words. Uh, you look down on it, and if you look down on it, and if it looks straight that way, then you're okay. So you square it here, and you look down on it, and uh, that's important. Now, there's another uh, nail. In my case, it's a staple that we're going to put in it that is, that is worth the time and important. Uh, uh, we're going to we're going to uh, put a nail or staple through this end bar into the top bar okay so uh, I'll do that now now when you do that be sure that nail or staple it isn't sticking out be sure it's flush because later on when you go to clean that frame if that staple is sticking out it'll, gi it'll give you some grief all right now I'm gonna, I'm gonna do all of those that way and then we're going to put the foundation in there, and that's where the, the grit will hit the road. We're going to see how it works. Ooh, ooh. I started putting these frames together, and I'll be honest with you, uh, I did about four or five, and I forgot to square them. So um, I checked this one, and and I don't know if you can see it on there. It's 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 not square. This this end bar is is. The top of it is that way too too much, okay. So if that happens to you, now uh, what I'm going to do is okay. This this top needs to go that way a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going I'm going to put with my left hand. I'm going to put a little pressure. I'm going I'm going to lean it. I'm going to lean it that way a little bit, and, and on, on both of them, and, and put another staple in, in your case a nail. Let me check it again. That one's off considerably, uh, so you can 
this one needs to go this way a little bit, so I'm going to just physically bend it that way, and then and then check it again, and that's square. Now I'm going to turn around and put another staple in the top, and it'll be okay, especially after, after that glue dries. Okay, we got the, the frame together. It's square, and I can't emphasize that enough. Be, be sure it's square. If you don't do anything else. Now this is the, the foundation. All that, that, that beeswax foundation smells good. I'm telling you, it smells good. Alright, now. Th this foundation is, is made special for this frame. So, I'm going to bring the frame over here. I think it'll, it'll stand up. Now, uh... We're simply, this foundation has uh, vertical wire in it. It does not have horizontal wire in it. And uh, uh, this, where this is where it gets a little sticky. Um, now I'm looking down on this foundation and it's bowed a little bit. Uh, I'm going to gently kind of bow it back the opposite direction. Alright, now... With this style in frame, you simply slide this down in this groove slot in the top bar, and it slides down, and it's it's made to slide in this uh, slot in the end bars. See, these end bars are thicker for that purpose. So it's made to slide it, this in this uh, uh, slot here uh, groove in the end bar will help help hold it, and then it's going to fall into this uh, groove in the bottom bar. So uh, we're going to just work it gently down into that groove in that bottom bar, and kind of have to get it all the way along. It's. Okay, we got it in there now. Well, not yet. Uh, now that's in there. Okay, there it is. Now, uh, they tell you in the instructions that you need to use, you know, they make some little uh, clothesline, old-fashioned clothesline clips to stick through that hole and straddle it. Uh, a bobby pin uh, will kind of do the same thing. But uh, your commercial beekeeper, they, they put two horizontal wires. Uh, you see there's four holes for four horizontal wires. But you only need two, the two center ones. You don't need four. Now, it's my opinion that that this, if, if you look at each bee piece of wax and in if, if it's if it's straight if it's straight I believe that you will be okay that that the the beginner beekeeper uh, it would be quite a hassle kinda for him to put that horizontal wire in there and uh, I, I really believe your this 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 looks workable here so it's ready to put in the hive, and um, the bees will start drawing the, the, the comb out on this frame. Once they, once they draw that comb out and attach it to the, the, the frame, then uh, she'll, she'll stay in there pretty good. And if you don't have that horizontal wire in there, uh, you wouldn't, after it's full of honey, you wouldn't want to pick it up and do this. But I don't think you're going to do that. And uh, but uh, this frame here's got my got my okay. I, I believe uh, it will really help the beginner beekeeper and uh, kind of simplify uh, uh, getting the frame together and well getting the foundation in the frame properly. So just be sure your frame's square. And I think it's. Uh, I think that's all I need to cover. 
Okay, one more thing. You can specify what kind of bottom board you want, uh, etc. This is a plastic bottom board, and it's not that bad. Uh, uh, there's a lot of good points about it. It's not that bad. So, um, of course, the, 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 the high body sits right on top of that, and and your frames your frames sit down there like that, and and. If if you start if you want to make your 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 hive your own hive, you you can make the I would not try to make the frames. My my, the bottom if you make this hive body, you want to get these measurements correct. If you if uh, you, you in literature you read you will hear bee space bee space that is the space where the bee crawls. If the space, if you get the measurements wrong, and the space is too narrow, they will propolize it. If it's too much, they will build burr comb in there. So you want to get you want to get the, your space correct, your bee space. Now this is a plastic inner cover, and uh, uh, they they can warp on you, and you you do need an inner cover. Uh, uh, but if an inner cover warps on you, that's that's not that bad because it gives you ventilation, and you need ventilation. Now here's the plastic top, and uh, of all the plastic uh, high parts, uh, I like the plastic top the the best. Uh, the the uh, unless they've changed it, the the plastic high body will uh, it'll bow on you and really mess you up now when you put your high body together caulk these these corners because you've got in grain wood there and there's I don't care how good of a, of a job they did cutting these fittings there's gonna be little bitty cracks and the paint will not seal it up so Caulk these corners of your high body before you paint it, and when you paint these edges, the the top and bo this bottom edge under here, and this edge, uh, paint them, and don't let a whole lot of paint go go over on the side, cause later on when you go to clean your high, that'll give you a problem. All right, that's gonna be that's gonna be the last one. Uh, this is the next morning, and. When I made the last segment of the video yesterday, I decided to wire these, uh, cross wire the, these foundations. The bottom line on, it was very frustrating. Uh, the bottom line on this frame, if you're a beginner and you're not good, you know, everybody has their talent. And if you're not good at putting things together and so forth, then this frame, it will do. Uh, the, fa the foundation may be slightly bowed. This vertical wire here helps uh, horizontal wire. I'm sorry, this horizontal wire helps keep this foundation straight up and down. And uh, uh, the only way that I'd recommend this to a beginner, and the, uh, if you're going to wire this horizontal wire, get the traditional frame, not this frame. This frame is a hassle to wire. And uh, uh, the instructions say that you can use that, that pin through the end, uh, trust me, that that ain't gonna work. So the only way I'd recommend this would be to a beginner that you know just going to put the foundation in there and hope for the best. Uh, another thing, uh, if you're if you're going to wire your frame horizontally, like you see these two, only two is necessary. 
years ago they did four. Only two is necessary. If you're going to wire a frame, years ago they made, made this complicated piece of machinery. Terrible, terrible. All you need, if you're going, if you're going to wire your frame, all you need is two nails. Here's a nail. Here's a nail. Now this nail is is bowed like that. All right. So uh, you get ready to wire your frame, and you push the frame next to this nail, and then you have you have this nail in such a position that it can slide down on that nail and it will slightly push these end bars inward just a little bit if you have the traditional frames these these end bars are so thick that you can't bow them so uh... i think i, I think i've told you everything and uh... if you have any questions uh... Let me know.